Hey, what's up, everybody? Hello. Welcome to 10 Minutes with Teddy and Tina. A discussion of life, love, family, and faith. Yeah. On this episode, we're going to be talking about forgiving and forgetting. Oh, yeah. Yes, indeed. See, some, some people, you know, I, I hear people say this all the time. Mm. I can forgive, but I can't forget. Yeah. Uh, I understand how you would say that, but, that but yeah, I, I, I'd have to go ahead and tell you that's not the biblical way of forgiving. That ain't never what you did. <laughs> uh, simply because whatever's done to you, the offense, if you forgive God's way, you forget it. It is a testimony. It is a, it is a testimony. It's not a tool of pain or mm -hmm. agony. It's a testimony of what God, uh, what the devil meant for bad, God turned it around for your good. Absolutely. That is exactly what forgiving like Christ would forgive. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, you, you don't, don't say that no more. Uh, don't, I, don't I, say that. I can forgive, but I can't forget. <laughs> that ain't you, never you don't, you don't, way. You don't, you don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So yeah. Listen, let me tell y'all something. If you, with this whole, I can forgive it and I forget it, I don't ever forget it. When you said that, the devil heard you too. And you know life and death is in the power of your tongue. Mm. So you just use your tongue to tell the devil, you can always make my situation real complicated when you bring the memory of this. You can always use this little trigger to take me down. God came to give me life, but you can always take me to a place of death with the memory of that because I forgave it, but I ain't going to forget it. You should not mm. say that. That is just uh, the plans and the works of Satan because the way that Jesus forgives he forgives over and over and over, and he remembers your sins no more. Your sins are thrown to the bottom of the ocean floor. He says, your sins, he throws your sins far from you as the east is from the west. And if we're going to be Christians, we've got to do what Jesus did. And when you receive Jesus' forgiveness, you can actually give it. If you can't fully forgive somebody, I would have to believe that you didn't fully receive Jesus' forgiveness. I want to take you to 2 Corinthians 5, mm. 14 through 19. We read this on the last episode uh, that was about forgiveness, but it's so necessary, so we're going to read it again in the New Living Translation. 2 Corinthians 5, 14 through 19. Christ's love controls us. Mm. Since we believe that Christ died for all, we also believe that we all have died to our old life. He died for everyone so that those who receive his new life will no longer live for themselves. Mm. Instead, they'll live for Christ who died and was raised for them. So we have stopped evaluating others from a human point of view. At one time, we thought of Christ merely from a human point of view, how differently we know him now. This means that anyone who belongs to Christ has become a new person. Mm. Old, the old life is gone, a new life has begun. And all of this is a gift from God who brought us back to himself through Christ. And God has given us this task of reconciling people to him. For God was in Christ reconciling the world to him, no longer counting people's sins against them. And he forgave and he gave us this wonderful message of reconciliation. God forgave you and empowered you so that you can do the same thing for others. He reconciled you back to himself by way of Jesus' sacrifice on the cross. And if we receive the sacrifice of Jesus on the cross, we are supposed to extend that same kind of forgiveness yeah. to others and reconcile them to him. I mean, it says in this scripture that we don't think of people from a human point of view. We stop evaluating people. That's what it says. That's we stop point. evaluating people from a human point of view simply because that we have this brand new life in Christ because he doesn't evaluate us from a human standpoint. Mm -hmm. He evaluates us through his spirit, through his father. And so if you have this revelation, then you could, <laughs> you could read this scripture and understand it. Isaiah 43, 25. Uh, God says, I, only I, am he who wipes out your transgressions for my own sake, and I will not remember your sins. He also says in Hebrews 8, 12, for I will be merciful to their unrighteousness and their sins and their iniquities will I remember no more. Now, how does God remember, uh, how does God not remember our sins? It's interesting because it's not like God 
doesn't remember them. Like he just oh, like, got a bad oh, 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 oh my God, that happened. Oh, God, I don't even remember no that. Bad no, no, no. The, 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 <laughs> what he does is he sees what we've done through the lens of Jesus. My he God. forgives us through what he did to Jesus to bring us back into relationship with him. He said he, he, it, he was, he was happy to bruise his son. That's crazy that he that he was happy to bruise his son to put that sin on him to make us righteous. See what God knew is he was going to redeem his son back. That he was going to go through all his hell and all his pain, but he was going to redeem him back just like he was going to redeem us. Yep. So he thought it was a good idea to bruise his son to bring us back into a relationship with him. So now that's what he sees. He sees what he did through Jesus Christ to see us. Isn't that man? Look, if you could imagine. God looking at you, when he looks at you, he has to look through Jesus first. Now, I got to interject, Teddy. So here you are, dirty, filthy, you wilding out, you condemning yourself, you hiding from Jesus because you don't, you hiding from Jesus, hiding from the Lord because you don't think you all good. <laughs> but you got this wonderful news to find out that God loves you so much that he put all of your penalties on Jesus. And when he look at you, he sees the perfection of Jesus. I know right. it's too good to be true, but grace is too good to be true. And God sent Jesus to extend grace to us. And so if, if God can look at our dirt through the perfect lens of Jesus, how can we call ourselves just like Jesus and not extend that to others? And then we give the devil power over us. The Bible says give no space to the devil in the book of James. Mm. We give space to the devil when we continue to look at somebody for what they did. We can't see what God is doing because we're so busy having faith in what the devil did yeah. that that's all that we can see. We have to have faith in what God did through Jesus. He brought us back so we can bring others back and fully forgive them now, and forget it. Now, and forget it. That's the point. Yeah. This is what Jesus says in John 20, 22 through 23. I'm going to read it in the Message Bible. Then he took a deep breath and breathed into them. Receive the Holy Spirit, he said. If you forgive someone's sins, they're gone for good. If you don't forgive someone's sins, what are you going to do with them? What you going to do with them? <laughs> you I'm probably... You, if if you like some of them people that say I, I can forgive, but I can't forget, you probably gonna remember them sins. That's exactly. what you're gonna do. Exactly. And if you remember them <laughs> sins, you're gonna be scared. You're gonna be mm. apprehensive. You're gonna be negative. You're gonna be skeptical. You might have triggers that make you feel a certain kind of way. You having a wonderful, awesome day, and then the devil remember. Remember, you don't forget what they did to you. Now you're in a situation where who knows? The Lord done changed and transformed their life, but you can't see that because mm. you're remembering what the devil has done. Wow. The Bible says you're supposed to forget it. Forget it all. Let it all go. That was a mean one. What you going to do with it? Yeah. Don't hold on to it. If you don't let it go, you still got it. Yeah. You think you got it under wraps? You got it under control? You do not have it under control. It has you under control. Unforgiveness is from the devil. Forgiveness is from God. When you don't fully receive what God has done and what God has given, by default, you go end up with what the devil gives you. Mm. And he gives you unforgiveness so you can always remember it. So you can always see somebody through what the devil is trying to do, not through who God made them to do. I'll just tell them about me and you. If I never started looking, I prayed to God and I said, help me to see my husband the way you see him. Mm. And if I would have never asked God for his view of Teddy, I would have never seen that he actually... Uh, uh, embodied the potential to be the amazing husband that he is now. Wow. And even now, this man is one of the most amazing men that ever walked the face of the earth. I don't care what he did. I'm busy living in what the man is doing every day. And I believe what God has done <laughs> in my husband's life. Thank you. But if I did not allow God to change my view, I could have kept seeing who you were mm. while you are amazing, while you are changed, while you are a man of God. I would still be looking at what the devil did if I didn't fully forgive and forget. Now, let me tell you how you can do this, because Jesus said it right before he uh, told them that, you know, if you forgive sins, they're forgiven. If you don't, what you going to do with them? He said, receive the Holy Spirit. My now, God. listen, you can't forgive and forget without the power of the Holy Spirit. Let me show you what else Jesus says. <laughs> he says in uh, Matthew 18, 21 to 22, Peter asked him, Lord, how many times in a day should I forgive my brother? Seven times? Jesus said, no, 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 70 times seven. In one day. Don't wow. mess it. Wow. It wasn't 70 times seven in a lifetime. Yeah. Forgive folks 70 times seven 
in one day. You can only do that by the power of the Holy Spirit. And I believe that's right. that that's what Jesus was talking about when he was saying forget. Because if you're going to forgive somebody 70 times, 70 in one day, you got to forget. You can't hold on to that. <laughs> exactly. It's got to go. It's just a point of reference for a testimony. <laughs> and you can do it through the power of the yeah. Holy Spirit. So every don't, don't ever say what you can't do. Yeah. Yes, you can. Yeah. You can do all things through Christ that strengthens yeah. you. And if you have the Holy Spirit empowering you to do, yeah. you absolutely can. You yeah. absolutely will. You absolutely shall. And yeah. you speak God's words over your life until you see it come to pass. It's all right that you might fail at it for a little while. You might get it wrong before you get it right. You keep on trying and allowing the Holy Spirit to manifest the works of God in your life. Because if you don't, the devil going to have his way with you. Glory to God. And that's a no-no. Bless the people, baby. Well, <laughs> may the blessings of the Lord that make rich and add no sorrow forever be yours. And we will see you all in two weeks. <laughs>